strange as it may seem, these cannabis growers are part of a very long tradition. In every culture and in every age of history, an enormous amount of human energy has gone into the production, distribution, and consumption of psychoactive plants. The only society that we know of for whom there is no native intoxicant are the Inuits. And that's simply because nothing grows up there that they could use. In almost every society, one or two or a small number of intoxicants are accepted. And not only accepted, but their use is actively promoted. And the rest are condemned. But there's no agreement from culture to culture as to which are the good ones and which are the bad ones. So you have alcohol, which is an everyday drug used in our society, that has a taboo on it in Islamic society. And though cannabis is illegal in most places today, many cultures throughout history have tolerated it. From the time the plant was first discovered in India and China thousands of years ago, people have seen it as more than just an intoxicant. Long before the discovery of aspirin, cannabis was used as a medical treatment for relieving pain. Dealing with pain, you know, that's a, a tremendous part of human life. And it was a bigger part before modern times. We all did physical labor. We didn't have many painkillers. We didn't have antibiotics. And a lot of intoxicants, even if they don't diminish pain the way opium does, they take your mind off it. And that's very, very important. In 19th century America, cannabis was a popular treatment for conditions such as labor pains, asthma, and rheumatism. You could walk into any drugstore in America and buy tinctures of cannabis. Cannabis was included in all sorts of medical preparations, and it was legal. 